Welcome to CineTracer version 0.53. This is the terrain update. And we're gonna be going over these grass areas here, the new fence, and also the pipes that we're showing off in this prefab right here. So let's jump right into this update. Cool, so let's hop into the inventory. The new stuff is gonna happen here. We're gonna take our park and our subway. Check out these two prefabs. Hit one and we have our park here. I'm gonna click and this has a couple of the new things all together. The biggest ones are the terrains. If you left click them and then scroll, it will add foliage to it. In this case, grass. And you can see you can go from zero to 500. So you can select all of these and add as much grass as you need. Uh, grass can be a little bit expensive. So depending on your computer, you're going to be able to only add so much. Uh, general rule of thumb, uh, the grass that's really close to you, go ahead and add a lot. But back here, you could probably thin it down. And in a lot of video games, uh, if you get far enough from it, you'll just have no grass. So it really depends on what you want. Those are the terrains. We'll look at them individually. And these are the new fences. You'll see that these are individual parts. And if you go into the commercial section, you're going to be able to take a fence pier and a fence itself and you can start to build your own fence like this and if you want to make a, a more circular freestyle design you can always uh, use the editor this way and do your best with the gizmo i know it's still a little bit buggy but you can build your own designs as needed these are the fence parts and if you spend enough time you can build all sorts of fences with it and in character mode when you build of course it's going to snap exactly to the world grid, which should be a little bit faster. And if you don't need such uh, curvy designs, they should work out pretty well. Uh, moving on, I actually overrode it. If we go back to prefabs, one of the new ones is this subway pipes demo. So I'm gonna hit one over here and you'll see it brings out the little subway set. And what's new are these pipes here. This is the first time we're implementing pipes. There's gonna be more of them and more things that are like this. So I'm actually going to add a light to the scene really quickly because it's kind of hard to see what's going on in here with just the skylight. So I'm going to put one of these there and uh, quickly switch out to editor mode here. Make it a little bit brighter like this just so we have a little bit of light in this uh, interior here. And now if I hit one, you'll see that this pipe is going to start snapping again. And if you basically bring it right against the wall, it'll snap perfectly in place. And uh, it kind of lines up with the ceiling one here. If we take this one, I hit two, you'll see that it's the same as that one. And you can actually snap it uh, a little bit differently, but again, it will snap or attempt to snap basically where the walls should be. So this makes it a lot easier and a lot more fun and fast to put pipes on the walls. Hitting three, we're gonna look at one of our ceiling pipes. Uh, the snapping is still a little bit work in progress, but you'll see that eventually it will snap exactly to the ceiling. Uh, it can be a little finicky to get into place, but uh, the idea is that it makes it fast and easy and hopefully fun to add pipes and start to decorate and design your set. We're going to be making more pipes. These were made in Houdini so we can make a lot more over time. And we're just testing the snapping system to make sure that they look pretty good. I'm going to go to building and exterior and we now have terrains. That's what I'm calling them. We have four types and I'm going to show you them. And we have some new rocks. They're kind of work in progress, but I made them in Houdini and we're going to have a lot more rocks and mountains and caverns and that sort of stuff coming out in the future. This is the beginning of those systems. We're going to look at the very first terrain. They're kind of big, so we're going to go over here. I'm going to hit one and there's our first terrain. So again, if you select it like this, you can scroll and increase the amount of foliage. Uh, if you go to editor like this, you can drag it here, you can type in there and you can randomize. So it'll randomly place this grass for you, which helps it look a little bit more organic. Uh, we're going to be having a lot of systems like this in the future that are a bit more procedural, a little bit more randomness built in for you. This is just the beginning. Here's another one right next to it. They will snap together and the seams are kind of obvious, but they're designed to be hidden by foliage. And in most cases, they're out of focus uh, in the camera, so they should work out. Uh, the next foliage, we're I'm sorry, the next terrain we're going to use is the ramp or the hill. So I'm hitting two that comes out over here. You'll see that it perfectly snaps to that. And as we run up to the top, I can hit one again and snap another flat one to it. And we can crank the foliage up on this or the grass, crank it up on there. And you'll see that this has created a hill and it's pretty similar to the building system. And with this, you can start to build out different 
uh, exterior scenes. These pieces are 1600 by 1600, where the building pieces are mostly 400 by 400, so they will all snap together. I'm going to hit two, and uh, actually hit three, and this is a corner piece. I'm going to hit two again, hop over here, and you'll see that we have uh, a connection, a little uh, bowl here that connects them together. So the last piece goes here. I hit four, and you do have to look at it the right way. It's a little bit awkward, but uh, this one is a corner, but it is a convex corner on this side, whereas I would call that one a concave corner. So that wraps it up for this update. Uh, go check out the new prefabs. Try to build a little environment. Please share your work. If you'd like to uh, show me what you've been working on, just uh, tag it, hashtag Cinetracer on Instagram, or just tag at Cinetracer on Instagram. I check almost all of those. If you post on stories, I'm very likely going to share it. I just like to see what everyone's doing. It helps me keep track of how we're doing with the system. And I'll check you guys on the next update.